What are your views on climate change initiatives and their effects on business and private property rights? I think that first we need to be sensitive to, to environmental concerns. Um, I haven't seen compelling, compelling evidence that we have substantial climate change taking place, but I think there are concerns when you look at the ice caps and things like that. Um, a lot of scientists seem to be agreeing that there is a change in the climate, um, but I think we need to look at it like anything with the focus on the environment, but also let's look at what it's going to do to our businesses. I mean, the businesses are the backbones of our communities, and I'm sure there's ways to institute legislation that might be, might be environmentally friendly without killing jobs. I mean, you have the pipeline that Obama killed a few months back, and that just is an economic killer. You had real jobs that would have come to the United States that are now gone. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to bring them back, but um, I think that we need to be able to find a balance between protecting the environment but also helping business. You hear these horror stories of huge, huge businesses that want to come in, companies that want to build in certain areas, and they can't build because an environmentalist found a cricket frog and things like that. And I, I can appreciate protecting the environment and endangered species, but let's protect people first. Let's protect jobs first. Let's protect businesses. There's a happy media in between. But again, it's another one of those areas where environmental special interests are actively engaged in the political process, and we have overly restricted things. You know, here in the village of Goshen, we're dealing with the river keeper. We were dealing with the river keeper via the DEC, and the DEC has given us mandate after mandate in terms of sewer. We were told to build a sewage treatment plant. Village taxpayers had to borrow $30 million to construct this plant. Now they're telling us you have to fix X amount of sewer pipes, or we're going to fine you on top of that. Are you kidding me? They want to fine us after we're doing the work, after our taxpayers are already hurting, people already tax too much, fine us just to build up their own coffers. So you have these environmental agencies running out of control with no regard for the actual taxpayers. It's about building up the coffers and maintaining their current funding levels, and it's hurting business in the process. So I think we need to continue to monitor climate change and continue to test. The, the information out there makes it look like there might be a problem, but I haven't seen compelling, compelling evidence, but we need to make sure that we're protecting the environment.